Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with the recipes that make you wanna cook. On today's video, we are making this delicious spinach recipe. Stay tuned. Let's get started, guys. And as usual, I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. We're gonna get started by sauteing our onions in a little bit of oil. You can decide whether you want to slice or chop up your onions, honey. As you know, I love my onions chunky, so I just slice them. Then once you are able to separate the pieces and they become a little bit translucent, you're gonna go ahead and add your yellow and green bell pepper. Saute that for another two minutes. Then you're gonna go ahead and add some margarine or butter. You can use salted or unsalted butter. Then you're gonna go ahead and saute that and let the butter melt. Once the butter has melted, you're gonna proceed by adding your diced potatoes. You're gonna go ahead and add your garlic and ginger paste and stir it in. Once everything is stirred in, then you're going to let the potatoes cook on medium-low heat just until they become translucent, just like so. You can see that they're a little bit of sweaty. You're going to go ahead and season your, your potatoes and onions with some dried chili. You can decide whether you want to use fresh chili or dried chili. It's absolutely optional, honey. Then you're going to go ahead and season with some aromat or some seasoning salt gonna give that a good mix then we're going to proceed by adding just a little bit of water cover the pot or pan and let the potatoes cook fully until how you like them so i like mine just a little bit firm but still mushy but not uh, mashed potatoes so you can just adjust on how well you want your potatoes cooked honey so as you can see, once I've added a little bit of water, I'm going to go ahead and close it and simmer until they are completely done to my liking. And once they're done, they look something like this. I'm going to proceed by trying to mash the potatoes just a little bit, not all of them. So we just want them to, we just want to give it a creamy texture instead of chunky so we're not gonna mash everything just give it a rough mash you know so once we add the spinach it's going to give it a creamy texture you're gonna go ahead and add your spinach all of it in there at once and you're going to let it wilt I did add a little bit of water because I want just a little bit of juice in there and instead of the spinach becoming dry, I want that juice. It's going to help in the end as well because we want some creamy texture instead of dry, right? So the water, just a little bit can go a long way. You're going to continue stirring your spinach until it has completely wilted and you're going to let it cook until done to your liking. So this one, I let it cook for an extra time because I want it mushy and creamier than crunchy. So once your, your spinach has settled in the pan or pot, you're going to go ahead and season with the spice of your choice and some black pepper. Then you're going to continue to mix and cook for about... Um, five to six or eight minutes it depends on how well done or smooth you want your spinach so for this instance I didn't want a crunch on my spinach I wanted to be smooth and creamy so I did go ahead and cook for about five to eight minutes or longer for so just depending on what heat you're using if you wanted to go quicker you can always close the pot then to thicken and make our spinach creamy, I'm going to mix together some flour and heavy cream. So I'm going to give it a good stir and we're going to add that creamy mix into our spinach. And that is going to give it a very beautiful creamy texture Well, while it is working together with the partially mashed potatoes so it's going to give it such a beautiful creamy texture. Remember the water that we added is not going to 
make it thicker because we did add a little bit of flour it's not going to make it thick at all it's just going to make it you know juicy creamy oh baby <laughs> so you're just going to mix that in and you're going to let it cook for another five to six minutes on low heat just to cook off the um flour taste or you can use corn flour instead of flour because corn flour takes quicker to cook off it will take probably about three to five minutes so yeah you just want to use low heat so that the juices don't dry out you still want a juicy creamy baby spinach okay so while i'm mixing as you can see i'm trying to mash the potatoes again i'm not gonna mash all of them just to give them texture that's the recipe guys i hope you like it and i will see you on the next one